Now, the temptation that is happening is, is again, difficult to understand at a, at a face value reading. Satan is, the Bible calls him, listen, because I think we forget about this, the God of this world, the little God of this world, the, the prince of the air here. He has power here. In a sense, this is his domain. Let me explain it like this. We are a part of this supernatural experiment. Satan is in heaven. He, he is the greatest of angels. And, and he doesn't want to worship God. He wants to be God. So God says, hey, let's see what kind of God you can be. He sends him to the world. He creates humans and says, all right, I'm going to be a good father to these humans. You're going to be destructive to them. And I hope they follow me. I'm going to show them that I love them in the greatest way imaginable. I'm going to give my only son for them to, to get them back to me. And Satan is constantly trying to lure us away. Temptation is a proposition not to trust God, right? He, he's involved in all of those opportunities where you're propositioned not to trust God. And what he offers you is a shortcut. The shortcut he offers Jesus here is you can have the world. I'll give you my kingdom if you'll just worship me without the cross, and so how much does Jesus love you that he says no to that? No, you don't understand. I'm dying for them. I love them. It says in Hebrews, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross.